What's happening guys, it's Jack here from Golf Magic back at Farley Golf Club. Now a lot of you have been getting in touch asking to learn more about the new Mizuno driver. So today is a head-to-head -head test, it is a new Mizuno ST190 up against Mizuno ST190G. Both these drivers are new for 2019, I'm going to take them out on the course, see how they perform, get some sky track averages and go back, compare my numbers with the two and see which one I like best. Right guys, back at Golf Magic HQ after putting the Mizuno ST190 up against the Mizuno ST190G. Now both of these Mizuno drivers feature wave technology which expands the COR area to improve ball speed across the club face. Now the ST190 is designed for mid to low spin and it has a single 6 gram back weight which increases MOI to improve forgiveness. Uh, the ST190 is available in a 9.5 and a 10.5 degree and using the adjustable hosel can be adjusted by two degrees either way. Uh, now the SD190G is designed for low spin and it features fast track technology. Now what fast track technology is, is uh, two seven gram weights that run on twin parallel tracks uh, which reduces spin. And what you can do is use either track to either promote a fade setting or a draw setting. And you can also do a heavy fade or heavy draw if you're looking to really exaggerate that shot shape. Uh, now, when it comes to looks, I think Mizuno have absolutely smashed it this year with drivers, um, with both of them as well. Uh, easily two of the best looking drivers on the market. They've got that modern carbon crown, they're neat, they're tidy, and they've got that simple yet classy uh, colour scheme. So, uh, sound is obviously a very personal thing. Um, hopefully at the start of the video you could hear the sound of both drivers and uh, also hear the slight difference between the two. Um, the Mizuno drivers this year, they're not my favourite uh, sounds that I've hit of uh, all the drivers, but I do prefer one, it's definitely the SD190G, which if you didn't know at the start, is the driver with the white shaft. Um, On to the performance, so I've used both these drivers at Farley Golf Club. Uh, they both perform well, um, they're not the longest drivers I've hit this year, but I've still got some decent numbers. Um, I prefer the ball flight of the SD190G, and that's just because it's got that lower spin rate, so I'm getting a bit of a lower trajectory, which I prefer with the driver. Um, but I, pro I probably hit more consistent shots with the SD190. Um, but what I'm going to show you now is some sky track averages, uh, compare my numbers with both of them just so you guys get a better idea of how they performed. So we'll start off with the ST190, so uh, I had a ball speed of 148 miles per hour, um, club head speed of 106, so not the fastest ball speeds I've got this year uh, by any means, but still decent stats there. Um, the spin was 2644 with a pretty average carry for me at 268 for a total yardage of 274. Um, so moving on to the ST190G, my ball speeds went up slightly to 150. Um, club head speed stayed the same at 106. Uh, spin, that was what was important for me. The spin rate came down to 2460, so getting a lower launch off the tee, which I, I prefer from a drive. Um, and then also my carry improved by four yards up to 272 yards and leaving me with a better total yardage of 280. Um, so the SD190G definitely performed better for me, but uh, when you're looking at the averages, but like I said earlier, uh, the SD190 was probably slightly more consistent for me. So there we go guys, that is the Mizuno SD190 up against the Mizuno SD190G. If I was putting one in my bag, it would be the SD190G. Like I said, just because of that lower spin rate, got a better launch for me, um, but some good numbers too with the ST190 and if you're someone who's looking for a more forgiving driver then I'd say lean towards the ST190. 
Uh, the SE190 has an RRP of £399. The SE190G is slightly more expensive with an RRP of £449. Uh, stay tuned on Golf Magic for plenty more reviews to come. And as always, thank you for watching.